Hello everybody, Miles the Fireman and welcome to our new Let's Play on A Taste of Donny Gall, I think it's called, I can't remember. Um, this is the one you all voted for, this is the one you all wanted me to do. Um, it won by quite a lot of votes, as in, I think it was about 60 something. Um, I've sold all the equipment, the only thing that's left is the Marshall Slurry Tanker and a couple of other bits. Actually no, it's just the Marshall Slurry Tanker that's left, so we've, we've basically got a fresh thing to start with. So we're going to go for a few tractors that we don't normally use. Well, I'm going to try to. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. I still have this bloody cold. Now I can't really go for anything too big as it's a very smallish map. Uh, I think we'll have a two wheel drive international. Um. Two wheel drive international and something else. Uh, yes, the Magic Ferguson 188. We'll have that as well. Now we're going to run fairly smallish equipment. Uh, I don't know what to go for for combines. <laughs> I just do not know because we normally use these ones for small maps but they fill up insanely fast so they're annoying as hell uh, we could go for that one and just get a header trailer for it I think we never really use the in game well it's not in game it's uh, a downloaded one if you get the gold edition you can also get that combine But we never seem to use it that often, so I thought. Right, so if we sort of just tab over, and just take these uh, drive control things off. See, it sounds quite nice. Now, there may be a few lag spikes here and there. I haven't got my game settings to run brilliantly with this map. And I'm miles off, aren't I? Oh, it was just telling me the refill thing was there. So I think we're going to start combining. We're also going to just try and get a tractor. Keep a tractor free. So I think we'll take the Massey over with it. Oh, it doesn't, don't tell me it doesn't go high enough. Right, I'll leave that there so it doesn't want to roll back. So this is the map you'll vote for. It won by... <coughs> Fucking hell. This gold's annoying. I'm really sorry about these coughs. It's a pain for me and it must be a pain for you. Lot, but there's nothing I can really do. Because I record the game footage and the uh, audio is one, I can't edit my coughs out or anything like that. And my microphone has no mute button, so I can't mute myself or anything like that. I suppose I could turn away, but I think it'll pick it up even still. Oh, I hit the hedge. I wondered why I couldn't go around that corner. So we need to probably find a smaller header trailer for this thing as well. So yeah, this is the map you all voted for. Uh, it, it was, I think it was pretty much going to win from the start, but come on. 
We've already encountered our first problem. I'm going to turn all the hood off on that just to make it a bit more realistic and stay in the cab. Oh, look at that! And you can tell I haven't got I haven't got four-wheel drive on or anything like that, if you're wondering. So I thought that was what, we, what, what was stopping it, but it's freed it off. Come on! So yeah, we're going to stick to some pretty small equipment. Uh, I kind of like running small equipment. I've only done a bit of playing about on this map. I haven't done loads, because I kind of didn't want to ruin it for myself. So all the gates are manual open. There's no... I don't think there's any automatic ones on this map. Right, let's pull right over here with it. Shut you down. Take you out for a spin. Now this is the tricky bit. Will the combine fit down the road? Yeah, you might see a, a little bit of lag. And no, the combine will not fit down the road. And it helps if you do not drive into the edge. It's such a weird shaped cab. This is why I keep hitting the edge. Because I keep thinking I'm too far over to my side. But actually, let's just keep... Oh, what the fuck are you stuck on? What the fuck? Right, so let's just try and keep it here. So no, we're not going to be running big equipment on this map. I don't want to run the risk of getting everything stuck all the time. So yeah, this won by a hell of a lot of votes. I can see this combine is going to be gay already. It's going to be a real problem for me anyway, because I'm going to be trying to put it in that curve over there. You can't even see the other mirror. Right. I do. I I really like this map. I like how everything's. Everything's built to fit the map. There's nothing that looks too overscale or anything like that. Right. So we should be able to hook up in a minute. I'm gonna try and get that bit there. Just unhook all of it because that that thing is gonna be ready the trailer. Oh no, it's just going to annoy the hell out of me. Okay, we'll, we'll fix this problem the fast way. Right, so we need to find a small header trailer for this. Let's do him a headland, otherwise he'll get stuck on a lot of stuff. <coughs> God, this cold is pain, I'm sorry. Right. So we'll do this one headland, and then just let him him take let the hired workers take over because they if you do the one headland they won't get stuck whereas if anyone has actually played this map you'll notice that they, there's, there's a fairly big boundary between the field and the edge of the field but that doesn't mean you will get you won't get he won't get stuck. And I am not doing this right. I'm doing a terrible job. So yeah, this is out of the gold edition pack. It's one of the 
uh, free combines you can download with it. I can't remember if it is released. I can't remember if someone just uploaded it again in their Dropbox and released it that way. But it works well. Yeah, the lag is... It's not lagging too much. I haven't dropped any frames. Okay, I dropped a few then. I went down to about 55. Why are you slowing down? So that means we're not going to be using big equipment. There'll be quite a lot of smallish stuff. Wee. I bet this combine's boring as hell to drive in real life. Because it doesn't, there's, I don't think there's a radio in it. It must be just one of the... Uh, it must be a very early one. A very sort of early design base. I don't know. And yes, you can say it doesn't fit this map because it's not Irish or whatever. Um, I don't have any other really small combines other than them green class ones, but they are. They fill up rapidly and are really annoying. And I don't think you'll get much bigger round than this. Right, now I can probably explain what I mean by the grass fields are actual fields. If we just wait for this guy, because he's going to get full. He is on 28%. Well, he has a 3,000 litre tank. Just nudge the massive there. Oop. just sort of put the pipe out and turn it off. Oh, push it right down here. Right, so we'll have a quick look at the grass fields and what I mean by it. So as you can see, if we scroll up, if in a normal grass field in your standard game, this sort of brown layer, if you can see it, this brown layer here, which is underneath all of this would be green which would make them a unhireable thing but because he's made it as an actual field and just put the grass over it it's it actually counts it as a grass field so that means if you go into mass and put the hood on click that click that uh, field work mode oh shit I haven't scanned the fields oh I didn't do it right Oh well, I'll have to fix that for next time. Right, let's buy some more stuff. Trailers. Tippers. What tippers do we want? Let's get some... Let's get some small ones. We've got to think this little mass has got to pull it, so it's not... It can't be massive. Um, I think that, that one will do. Right. Plows, 100 horsepower, because the International is 100 horsepower. That'll do. Uh, let's have it in black. I didn't even realise I had that mod. <laughs> uh, I think we'll stay off cedars for now. Uh, same with sprayers, I'll have to have a think. Let's get our loader set up. So we want 
Uh, quick fit loader with muck forks and very old technology that we want to go back into. Front loaders, we'll use the Robert forks. We haven't used them for quite a bit. So, oh, I've just put the reverse thing back on accidentally. So I'll hook up to one of these. This is actually going to make it quite useful. Because it means we're going to be going back with one loader attachment. And. Oh, no, wrong button. One loader attachment and one three point attachment. So let's open the window. Let's get out. I'm going to try and do this let's play fairly realistic. I know I said that about Sandy Bay, but... we Realism is key! What the fuck? It didn't like that, did it? Fuck off, plow! Plow, go away! Oh, this could break my game. Uh, okay. We'll take the plow back with us, then. Uh, I don't know why that. I think because the cultivator was underneath the plow. Uh, so when you hooked onto the cultivator and it wanted to lift the hydraulic arms up, it was pulling the plow up with it. Which is not very good. But I'm not going to sell either one. So if we can only take if we can only take this plow and it won't attack, it won't detach. From us, then I'll do it off screen because if it crashes my game, then I'll have to do editing and I don't like editing. So I'm not going to do editing. I'm going to try and unedit it. Um, just a quick thing. I have two uh, David Browns that you may have noticed in profile pictures and when I've been scrolling through my tractors. Now, there was a comment on one of my pictures saying that these were getting out, um, but to Harrison who made them, I haven't given them out to anybody, so it's obviously, so it's, it might be uh, over your end if you gave it out to someone else because I, I definitely haven't given them to anybody so but someone was saying they're getting out now so I don't know I just thought I'd bring that up because then it Harrison has a bit of a clearer understanding and everybody else has a clearer understanding that they may be showing up on a website if <laughs> I know there's a very unprivated I know there's a website that puts private mods up there at least daily. So. Okay, that's fucked up. Why have I just. Why have I tried to attach it through manual attachment? Yes. Fuck off, plow! Okay, do you know what? Stay on then. Stay on, and I'll fix you off screen. Let's back this guy up. Let's go pick up that trailer. Pick up that trailer and empty him. Go, little Massey. Well, this little Massey is not private. Uh, I suppose everybody knows by now that it's not. And it has its own set of weights to go with it as well. So it is quite cool. I think we'll put the weights on it. I do like it with the weights on.
just see if we can knock that over. Well, let's buy the weights for this thing. Um, I will probably purchase everything else off screen. We won't get any animals for now. We'll just get stuff like a baler and that. And then I will get rid of all the money. I will get rid of quite a lot of money actually, to be fair. I may even just set it so we've got 6,000. Put this weight on just in case. But that'll do for this episode because my throat's starting to really kill. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe for more today and I shall see all of you in the next episode. Happy farming. Bye-bye.